Hi there, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director at Wildlife Images. And they were talking about seasonal wildlife because there's a lot of animals you won't see during the winter months, but you certainly will see them in spring when they emerge and get active again, including things like our snake. This is a California king snake. They are probably one of the most beneficial snakes we can ever have. These guys, of course, eat small rodents, typically, but they'll eat other types of snakes, including even rattlesnakes. They're immune to rattlesnake venom, so they can go after small rattlesnakes with total impunity and swallow them whole. Of course, they don't have the ability to chew animals into small pieces, have to swallow them whole. A lot of people think of snakes as slimy. They're not. They're on the ground all day, every day. If they're slimy, they'd be covered with dirt and grime. They're very smooth, they're very soft. And in most cases in Oregon, uh, they're harmless. Our snakes here are extremely beneficial. About the only really harmful snake that we have in this area are rattlesnakes. And of course, they're pretty easy to identify with that nub and tail with the rattles on the end of it. So the rest of the snakes here in Oregon are very friendly, very easy to work around. If you see a snake and you don't like them, just turn around and walk away from them. They're not going to chase you. They're not going to cause any harm. And in most cases, they're very, very easy to work around. So please take care of your snakes. Other things that occur during this time of year that you don't normally see are insects. Well, this particular insect, uh, although seasonal, is not found here in Oregon. This is a vinegaroon, found more in the southwestern deserts. But we do have seasonal insects around here. Most commonly seen are probably bees and wasps and hornets. Uh, bees, of course, honeybees are very beneficial to humans because they're a primary pollinator. Without bees, there's a good feeling that life on Earth would quit existing. But there are other things like hornets. There's two different types of hornets. The ones like yellow jackets, which are very harmful to humans, not great to be around. Um, they often nest underground. They're, um, they will nest under the eaves of houses, things like that. So these guys are usually yellow and black, very easy to see. But there's another type of hornet that's kind of beneficial. It's called the bald-faced hornet. They're primarily black with a white face, and they're a lot bigger than the yellow jackets. And the bald-faced hornets feed on yellow jackets and are very advantageous to have around. So you see the big paper nests up under the eave of a house. You see big black hornets coming out of it. Those are usually the good guys. They can sting, and they will defend their nests but primarily their food supply is hornets like yellow jackets and things like that. Remember, seasonal animals like reptiles and insects are very beneficial to humans in most cases. So take extra measures to go out of your way to preserve them as well. If you'd like more information about becoming a volunteer, a donor, maybe putting this in your estate planning, things like that, you can go to the Wildlife Images website at wildlifeimages.org. Log on and get all the information you want right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time on another episode of Walking the Wild Side.